Horrified neighbors watch as a Chevy Bolt bursts into flames engulfing this Virginia home. The last thing I thought was that the car would have spontaneously lit on fire. Scott Virgin in Florida had the same issue with his Bolt. The fire department was unable to put the, the battery out. They had to drag it by the side of the road and let it burn overnight. A defective battery inside the car has led to nine bolt fires and prompted GM today to issue its second recall for nearly 69,000 vehicles worldwide, telling owners of 2017 to 2019 models to park outside and not to charge them unattended overnight. You can't take a lithium ion battery onto a plane and just stick it in your luggage and check it. Right, so these things can catch on fire and they're dangerous. We're taking hundreds of them and putting them in a car. It's a significant problem for GM as it embarks on a $35 billion effort to build a new all-electric platform. We plug in our vehicles as naturally as we charge our phone. But Virgin, who took his newborn son home from the hospital in his old Chevy Bolt, is still shaken by the incident. I had that flash where you see all of the things that could have happened and all of the terrible outcomes and as a new parent it's it was traumatic now gm is working with its battery manufacturing partner lg solutions on a potential fix but replacement parts are not available and in response to questions from cbs news gm says it has no guidance on when those replacement batteries will be ready